Sir, and the, yes, yeah, so that's because I'm knighted. Sir Pope Ian the third. Um, it's been asked of me to let people know why I'm Catholic and why the Catholic Church. Let me approach this first and foremost. To understand that, you have to understand my relation with God. And then understand that that is my conduit to the heavens, to Christ, our Lord and Savior, and God Almighty himself. That is actually the truth. But God gave me life gave me ground to walk on, gave me food to eat. And yes, I truly understand that. His divine creation gave me existence and sustenance. And to not fathom what that means would be unintelligent of me. Because I've gone without. I know what it's like not to eat. And I pray to God for food. I know what it's like not to necessarily have the best shoes to walk in because my resources, financial resources, weren't there to get a new pair of shoes. To go without teaches you. And that's why in Jewish faith, the Jewish New Year's Rosh Hashanah, without food, just so people now understand. But to go without teaches you a lot that when you start going with and are plentiful, then those are the provisions of God because he'll shed a tear in a second watching someone go without, if they're truly going without. And trust me, you never want to see God cry. It will break your heart so fast, it's ridiculous, because he's saying my creation is suffering, understands what suffering means. And eventually God says he should, or she will go without never more. Never again, in other words. It's all taken care of. People come around you and that's how. Say you should not starve. You should not go without adequate clothing and cleaning shoes. You should not go without books, including the Bible. You shall not. That's what God provides. So I understand that. And the individuals that surround me that say, you shall not go without because you serve God. They're Catholics. And that's why. And they do that with each member more than people realize. It's very quiet and stealthy how they do, but yes, they do. And there's Catholics will walk up to you in a second. I'm not saying other religions don't. They will walk up to you in a second and say, excuse me, are you going through a period of suffering? We won't allow that. What can I talk to you about? What will make it better? Which is true. Catholics have provided me an education. Uh, Far greater than none. To understand what Christ went through is that ultimate sacrifice. And I want to bring in Christ, Lord and Savior. That he paid the price of his life because people hated. He just said, maybe my death will get you to stop hating. I'm hoping so. I'm going to die no matter what. 
if it does anything in in hopes and in action of them are in Christ who are without plenty or without his life from that point on. Because people hate. And that is the sins you died for are envy, hate, greed, jealousy. I think I got most of them. And that's why. That's why they murdered him. Just knew that's why. Because they wanted to be him and they didn't want to hear him anymore. Because they disagreed. A simple debate is how we resolve disagreements in ideology and fundamentals. We don't just blindly murder him, they blindly murdered Christ because they disagreed with what he was saying. That's the truth. But to spread the word of God in Christ and be chosen to do so is the greatest gift to me and the Catholics chose me to do so well not others but they chose me to do so and so I graciously and exuberantly I don't know exuberantly but exuberantly take that challenge and I hope to meet it day in day out with every breath in my body Amen Mm, I think I'm an appropriate term. This is Sir Pope Ian III signing off. I actually want to say my first name is people in Juicy. <laughs> my old name. That does for me a little bit. Let me go. Signing off. Bye.